I want to tell you another story because the, the real story in evaluation is the story of Billy. And this is about what systems are about. Billy was a three-year-old that was in the best daycare in our state. This daycare had never, um, had never expelled any student. And Billy was quickly heading to that um, place. He had uh, broken a, a staff person's nose. He was very, very aggressive. And uh, his mom uh, was a single mom. She was attending college. They had a, he had another sister who was older than him, did not have any aggressive issues. Um, and we got called. We were just getting started on our grant, and our first uh, um, worker went to this site and said, um, you know, what can I do? And they said they're ready to um, boot this kid out, and they were figuring, trying to figure out what to do. They met with the child care staff and the director and the mother, mother in, a, in a meeting, and they kind of came up with some initial plans. And then they were um, trying to get the, the pediatrician involved as well. But the first thing that they did was that they developed a poster board that showed different places, it was on Velcro, was, and they showed different places where it were safe to go in the child care environment. And they put different faces, happy, sad, and angry, or different faces. And the child, Billy, was to identify what he was feeling and put his, the Velcro thing in a place where he could go and feel that feeling. It was all about what the ment mental health uh, the definition of early childhood is, regulating and um, strength identifying emotions and, and thinking about what actions were going to be done. Well, guess what? In that child care center, the Billy had this great thing, and every other child wanted that great thing. They thought that was the coolest thing in the world. And so it became a universal practice that kids were being trained and taught mental health and feeling regulation, which was just a tremendous event. Well, Billy um, was doing a little better. He was not as aggressive, having less. They were charting his aggressive tendencies, trying to figure out when they occurred, what was happening. And, you know, you know that kind of work that, that goes on. They were able to bring the pediatrician into the team. Mom met with the team um, weekly, and any time there was a difficulty, um, he was not being timed out. He was being able to stay in the program. And then um, it was time for kindergarten. And so the whole team, they had put a lot of time into Billy. The whole team went to the school district and to the special ed director and said, this is the story about Billy. We need this, that, and the other thing in our special ed um, program. And the special ed director said, I'm sorry, we, we, can't, we can't provide all of that service. That's way too expensive. And it, it just, we just can't provide that level of care. It was a poor district. Um, the team came back together and they made a decision that Billy would stay at the preschool for kindergarten, that he was not ready to go into that kind of setting without the right kind of supports. They did that. Billy, the time for first grade came. Billy was a lot more resilient, a lot stronger. Billy went to um, first grade. They d went through the same kind of discussion about the special ed program. They did get a a special ed program that was not ideal, but it was workable. Billy um, finished first grade, and he was ready, f um, for, from everybody's perspective, for a 504 plan. At the end of second grade, Billy was reading on grade level, which is a huge um, sign of trajectory of success, and was not going to be on special ed at all. And Billy, to this day, has graduated seventh grade, is in eighth grade, and he's still um, on a trajectory for success. This is the worst kid in the best daycare 
in our, in our system, a child that was headed for a long history of special ed funded programs who at the end of first grade was not on an IEP anymore and was on a 504 plan and not, um, and academically he's fine. What I want to emphasize is that to achieve system goals, we really do need to work together. Working together isn't always fun, especially in the beginning. It gets more fun as you start working together. But we need all the people that are working in the early childhood field to come together to what, what are the shared values. You know what I'm always amazed at in early childhood, and anybody was saying this at lunch today, is that everybody loves babies. And babies and young children bring everybody together. That's a shared value that we automatically have. What are the other shared values? Learn from the differences. This is a cultural exchange program. If you go to another country, you need to learn the language, you need to learn the customs, you need to learn the environment that they work in. Do the same for your colleagues. Do the same for parents. Do the same for child care workers. Learn from the differences. What are they up to? Walk in their shoes. Engage all the key stakeholders, not just the ones that you like, but everybody. And focus on the philosophy and values about what's needed, not what you can fund. Because we can figure out. We did in Vermont, and you can do it in Buffalo. We can do it anywhere. We can figure out how to, how to use the resources differently if we share the philosophy and values of what we're trying to accomplish. We're not going through, none of us are going through an area where there's going to be a lot of economic growth and new funding. But I dare say that we have resources that we need to bring together and use. Thank you.